Hello and welcome to Yak Quack Slips. My name is Michael, your point of click adventurer, and this is episode 14 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. On the previous episode, oh my god, I just apologise. I mean, how ridiculously long did that take me? Uh, yeah, we, we did the insult sword fighting and we finally ended up on Blood Island. And um, so we're going to investigate. I'm deadly excited about this because pretty much from here on in, I don't remember a thing about the game. So it's all new. It's like playing it afresh for the very first time. And um, just a, a little side note about today's episode, you may hear my voice is a little uh, a little different. That's because I'm a little bit under the weather. So, um, yeah, I may have to do some editing on the sound every now and again with some sneezes. It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. All right, so we've got some shaving foam. Can we open it? I can't pull the cork out with my hands. Um, can we use this kind of stuff with that? Use this kind of stuff. I can't yeah. use the skeleton arm with that. Use that? I don't want to cut that. Yeah, okay, let's leave that. Slippery, greasy hand lotion. You'd best believe in that. That near hand lotion be for the rough, dry skin that can often accompany ship repair. Alright, fair enough. Um, can I click on anything else? Not really. So just remember that there is what? Some kind of oil. Greasy hand lotion. Let's go and explore Blood Island. I'm excited. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Shipwreck. Question mark. Question mark. Lots and lots of question marks. Strange lights. Let's head to the first question mark. Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. <laughs> Right, can we talk to her? I don't think she can hear me. No, never mind. It doesn't look like she's hurt. Well, except for that whole turn to gold by a pirate curse thing. Can I get the ring off her finger? No. That ring is really stuck on her finger. Maybe I have to use the grease that the haggis has. Kind of makes sense. Stump fireflies. Ah, oh, nice. They sure are bright. They are indeed. Can we grab them? They're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands. Do you have anything that we can catch them with? A jar or anything? Hmm, not really. Stump. Mm, no. <laughs> no. Hey, a stump. Hey, a stump. Hey, a stump. There was a puzzle in the episode in Monkey Island 1 with a stump. And uh, let me know down in the comments below which disc you had to insert. If you fans should know, I know. It's just another way to get you to comment. Of course it is. Skills of a... Of a, oh, I say skills, I use that word very uh, liberally. Skills of a, of a YouTuber. <laughs> oh god, you can tell I'm on the, um, on the uh, illness, illness medication. I can't even get the words out of my face today. Right, ooh, authentic native mask. This is a nice mansion. The label on this mask reads product of Luxembourg. Mm, no. Mm, no. Let's have a look at the billboard stage. Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean. Starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera. Nightly at seven. Ooh, fancy. So that's the stage. Let's head on in. See if anybody's inside. Ooh, this is nice. Fortune teller. What's that say, Madam Mademoiselle Zims? Zima? Madam Eczema. Zima, <laughs> Madam Zima, Madam Zima, Madam Zima! Mistress of the ancient arts of precognition and augury. Diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Have me fortunes then. Uh, told them, please, lad, Madam Zima. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Ah! Please, <laughs> keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Tell me my fortune. Tell me my fortune. Do you know anything about the Lost Ring of Blood Island? I want to know my fortune, please. Tell me my please. fortune. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. <laughs> I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. 
You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So, are you gonna tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding! Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. What's what's in the cards for me? Um, let's ask about Blood, Blood Island. Do you know Island. anything about the lost ring of Blood Island? I sense tremendous sorrow in connection with that ring, and a great part missing. A beautiful diamond. Where's the diamond? I see a dark cave filled with evil men, and a place of death. A dark island in the form of a giant skull. Ooh, sounds ominous. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... <laughs> good lord, woman, stop that screaming. What is it? Is that a good, ah? It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. <laughs> Can we get the card? Look, a three-headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies <laughs> went through. <laughs> Where? I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. Right, so we have a tarot card of death. Bartender. Nacho Street chip maker. For oh, let's grab that fork. That fork is stuck in all that congealed Ooh. cheese. Can we take the cheese? Oh, don't bother that. Just make the pain stop, please. All right, okay, I guess we have to make the pain stop. Door. Is that just a fork? Nothing else, no. Okay, let's talk to this chap. Come on. Talk to him, then. There we go. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Do we have anything that can cure a hangover? Um, a half-eaten maggoty biscuit? I don't think he'd like that. No, not really. Um, Captain Nick's shaving soap. I don't think he'd like that. Tarot card. Mm, no, nothing really. Spittoon. I don't really want to pick up a spittoon. I don't carry around <laughs> other people's spit anymore. I'm growing past that <laughs> That's good. Oh, please stop touching things. Stop that racket. Okay, so I guess I have to stop. He's hangover with something. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get anything. I like that picture. Grog. Where am I going? Up the stairs. Let's go upstairs then, just walking around nonchalantly as if we own the place. Why not? I am Guybrush Streetwood. One door, two doors, a window, a couple of portraits. Anyway, it sense to go through door number one. Okay, what would we have there? Oh, what's that? Nail. Pull nail. I can't pull it in. Uh, I guess we have to bash it out with pan? Pie pan? This pie pan won't do any good there. Hmm. Encyclopedia? The encyclopedia won't help with that. Alright, okay, never mind. Let's have a look at the portraits instead. I don't have any use for portraits of the Van Salad family. Van Salad it's family? It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. So we need that nail somehow, don't we? Maybe we can use the scissors. Doesn't seem right. I don't want to cut that. No. Um, look through the porthole. 
I can see the hallway. Okay, something tells me that I have to do something in here. Maybe make that p portrait fall down. Pretend there's a ghost here or something. It's nailed to the wall. What about this one? Is this one nailed to the wall? It's nailed to the wall. It's locked. It's locked, right. How about the window? I want to close the window. I'd rather leave it open. There's a peculiar odor in this hallway. <laughs> Comfy. Um, examine? It looks out onto the cemetery. Ooh, cemetery. Okay, so there's a nail in there. Let's remember that. We have no hammer or anything. So look at this portrait. It's Count Gaspacho Goodsu, the yeah. cold hearted canning magnet. So if I can't really do anything in here until he has his hangover cured, I'd say we just go find somewhere else. We have an entire island to investigate. Oh, cushion. That's broken. Can we do anything there? Oh, I can take a cushion. What do we need a cushion for? Mm, nothing at the minute that I can think of. Tell you what I'm going to do, because I am usually the guy who misses everything. I am just going to spend a second looking around, seeing on the off chance that I can pick things up. See, I can. I absolutely can. I am what's known as useless. Okay, rum, Rogers, rum, surprise. One barrel of rum, two flasks, <laughs> loads of rum. Plus vermouth and cilantro. Um, cilantro in English is, um, <laughs> in English, that's the American way of saying, uh, what was it? Oh man, that's really going to annoy me now. Uh, oh, it's going to come to me in a minute. Write down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Cilantro. Right, so combine all ingredients, season with rum to taste. If vermouth is not available, substitute with rum. What about pickles? Coriander. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> nah, they go straight to my hip. <laughs> Just shout out coriander. Uh, yeah. It's um. That's what cilantro is. Cilantro. Oh wow! Look at that cheese. That's my dream. I can't pick up that entire wheel of cheese. Do we still have that biscuit cutter? Oh, we don't. I thought we can cut out a a nice bit of a uh, a nice bit of cheese. Fridge magnet. Nice. We've got a magnet, recipe book, cushion, tarot card. Getting all the things now. Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Why not? You're always rummaging through other people's things for no reason. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. It's labeled Good Soup Family Records. Okay, do we need do we need them? Don't really need them. We might need them at some point. Um, so we have a massive, massive wheel of cheese. Extended family size processed cheese food spread. I think this is the stuff they use to make nachos. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, can I cut a bit off? I need something to chip off a chunk with. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was using. Or maybe the pin. I don't want to pin that. Um... don't know. Let's go this way. Maybe it's the nail from from the room upstairs, but we can't get the nail out. We'll come back to that. We know that there's a massive piece of cheese. We're not going to miss that. Tiki lanterns. Can we get the tiki lanterns? Mm, no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's go down here. One thing I did want to mention in this episode, uh, which I was going to mention previously, is my um, is the Facebook group. Um, someone asked about it in the previous episode. I don't remember which episode it was. It might not have even been a Monkey Island video. But yes, I do have a private Facebook group for adventure game lovers. So not just Yak Quack Clip stuff, but talk about any adventure game stuff you want to know. Pose questions, put screenshots. So um, I'll put the link to that below. Come and join me. There's nearly 600 people in the group now. So it's called the Point and Click Adventurers. And it'd be awesome to see you guys it says there. Tex Venture. Tex Venture. Your company name here. It's locked. Okay. Crypt. The Good Soup Family Crypt. 
I've got to, there's something to do with the good soup, isn't there? I've got to, I've got, I've got to do something. Family records, a tomb. Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. <laughs> this is more. Is there more cemetery? Ooh, smelly dog, smelly dog hair. Hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. That's got to wake that guy up. At the bar. Isn't that what, isn't that like a hang of a cure? Good, I'm sure, I'm sure that makes sense. Mm, no. Recycle tools. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. Workbench. Okay, maybe I, I need... I wanted one, but... Maybe I need like a hammer. Oh, there's a hammer. I was thinking I could use that on the on the nail in the hotel, and then use the nail to chip some of the cheese off. I have it, and a chisel. Can we get the smelly dog hair? Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. You must be shedding. Ugh. Horrible. Smoldering campfire. Mm, no. Smelly dog hair. So make. Hold on, let's have a look at these recipes. I'm thinking. Can we have a look at the recipes? Look. Oh, that's I'm pressing the wrong button. Rum and Rogers, rum surprise. Um. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Um. I was thinking there's probably a hangover cure in here. Yellow beard baby. Was that in the first? Is that in Monkana too? Yellow beard baby. The bloody stump. Pretty sure the bloody stump was. Yes, they are. Blue whale. Phlegm and tonic. Nice. A bloated tick. Right. Don't think we're going to have any of that. Swamp zombie. Um. No. Here we go. Appendix A. A pirate's first hangover cure. Clears foggy heads. So we need an egg, pepper, and hair of the dog. That bitcher. Yeah. Hair of the dog, that bitcher. Yeah. Alcohol sensitive patients. Consult a physician before using. Do not mix with alcohol before operating rudders or... Other heavy machinery causes extreme, 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 extreme drowsiness. Okay, so he's going to fall asleep. So we need an egg and pepper as well. How do I get out of here? Um, I think... What was that, that I saw? Chimney. I think what I'm going to do is go back and use that mallet on the nail. Mm, no. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Can I go in there? Inside? Crack between doors. Let's have a look first. I can't see anyone in there right now. Okay. Is that just... Oh, that's just going back. I don't want to get back. Can I open it? It's locked tight. Maybe I can use that to wedge it open. I can't use the chisel with that. Um. Yeah, none of these really make sense. I think I'm going to go back to the hotel... And use the mallet with the nail. Because I need a nail, I guess. Oh, maybe, maybe I just use the chisel to chisel a bit of cheese off. That makes more sense than a nail. Still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get the nail, but... Right, sorted. Skeletal hook. What do I need a hook for? I already have enough skeletal appendages. <laughs> I do, don't I? Right, come on then, guy brush. Double click. Nice. And we're going to go back to the hotel. I'm excited to find out what these are. Strange lights, windmill. Right, in here, please. Um, try and get a bit of the cheese. Where's the chisel? Use the chisel with the cheese. It's not something I expect to say today. Oh, look at that. That'll be my evening sorted for sure. Unmelted hunk of nacho cheese. Hmm. It's my cheese, nacho cheese. Right, mallet with the nail. Don't know why, but let's do it anyway. I'm assuming that painting will fall down and... I don't know. It's an adventure game. Anything can happen. Bang. 
Maybe we have a look through here before we go out, in case somebody's up. I can see the hallway. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, we'll get. I guess we get the picture. All right, we have a mm. picture. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> awesome, so we have a nail, a picture. God, we've got loads of stuff. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Who is this that is of? one ugly picture. Looks just like the bartender. Okay. Maybe it's a bartender's dad or granddad or something. Nail, mallet. Refrigerator magnet. They said something in the in the encyclopedia, didn't they, about making a compass with a magnet. That's probably what I've got to do with that. So I have that now. And, yeah, let's go down here. Where else could I go? Should I go to the new place? We need an egg. Where can I get an egg from? An egg and what was the other thing? Let's have a look at the recipe book. Oh, wrong one. Look at... What page is it on? Page... Page... Page 8. So, one egg. Pepper. Okay. Just having a look at the rest of it. Yeah. This page intentionally left blank. So, egg and pepper. Um, right, not to a chip maker. Fork. Yeah, there's no... There's no egg or pepper here, is there? Maybe there's like a... Uh, shipwreck. A lane. Let's go to this place here. Seems to be fairly near. Another... A lighthouse. Aha! An egg. We're not going to be able to reach that, are we? Do we have a stick? Some stones? Rocks? Although, wouldn't that break the egg? Rubber tree. Do we have I to bend it back? It. Shake rubber tree. That's just going to break the egg, isn't it? Let's do it anyway, I see what happens. I can't shake it hard enough with just my hands. Okay, so we have to shake it with something. Maybe in the mallet. Maybe we have to whack it with the mallet. The egg would break when it hit the ground. Do we have anything to... What's that? Smelly dog hair. A concussion it. I can't use the dog hair with that. Maybe I don't need rubber. any rocks. Mm, okay. So we need to shake the, the tree to let it fall. We haven't really got anything for it to fall on. Oh, the cushion. The cushion. That makes sense. Whack the tree with that. Yes. Boombastic. So we have egg. We have hair of the dog. And we just need pepper. Weathered sign. Lost Welshman Ferry Line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. All right. Can we go to the water? Nah. Drink sea water. Pick I up. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I think there's an Easter egg. Excuse the pun. Not that Easter egg. Where if you keep asking or picking up here or examining. Those advertisements were no lie. It really is crystal clear. I really don't want to go in the ocean. If I keep doing that, like, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, he does actually go into the ocean. You know what? I'm going to try that. Well, I'm not going to do it now, because that'll be, like, ten minutes of me doing that. But check out for a bonus video on the on the channel. And, um, yeah, that'll be fun. If you haven't seen it before, because I do remember seeing that somewhere on YouTube bloody years ago. And this, this kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. We've got hair of the dog, we've got an egg, we just need pepper, and we've got places to investigate. Plus, we've got so much crap we picked up in, what, 20 minutes. Guy brush, my mate, you're a bit of a klepto. 
Right, anyway, I'll be back uh, tomorrow, hopefully, touch wood. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now, and take care.